Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over a package that I got in the mail from Benefit and Ipsy. Now, we did a survey a couple months ago about possibly working with them. We didn't hear anything and then lo and behold we hit a box to arrive on this step. So I'm so excited that they sent this to us. This cute little box. So cute, right? So cute. Little, little eyeballs on the back. Anyways, it was packed with all kinds of types of goodies. I love Benefit. Um, some of these things I can use because I don't have brows and some of them I cannot. So we're going to do our best with testing out some of these goodies today. Um, I'm going to show you everything in the box. Um, I sent me one of my all-time favorite primers that I have for myself and for my clients, which I'm so excited about. Um, so let's just jump right into what's in the box. Then we're going to create some magical brows and test out these products and then I'm going to create a full look. I'm not going to show you the entire look but we're going to show you it all put together with a look at the end. So they fabulous. sent us two, two different mascaras. We've got the bad girl, bad gal bang as you can see here and this is going to show you what it looks like over here. Full Blast Volume 36 Hours. 90% um, say dramatic volume, 94% said it instantly lifted lashes, um, and 92% said it lengthened lashes. Okay, girl. I think I need all of these because I have zero lashes. I use um, strip lashes all the time and I do look. So it'd be nice to have a mascara that I really, really like that'll do these. Um, I'm not super fond of the Too Faced Better Than Sex one. Um, so I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm excited for this. Um, then we have a Roller Lash, which I also have not tried. Um, this shirt, I think it sat on the hanger weird, can you tell? This is what it looks like. Focus, thank you. That's what it looks like. It says 97% said it visibly lifted lashes. 87% said it gives long lasting curl. And then 94% said eyes look more wide open. So, um, this one says you don't need a lash curler anymore. It says, bye bye. Bye bye. So, we'll see how that is. Um, I think for today, uh, let's see, uh, intense black pitch, pro, oh, pro vitamin, uh, they got details all over the boxes. I'm looking back at this bad gal. Um, smudge proof and flake free, water resistant, oh, we're going with this one. I like to try things out that might be good for my clients as well. We're trying this one out today, bad girl bang. Bad girl bang. Gang gang. <laughs> I really need to stop saying that. The kids yell at me every time. No. No gang gang over here. Alright. <laughs> so we're going with this one today. We got the Pore Professional Pore Primer. This is an all-time favorite of mine. I've got pores for days. Um, it's just what it is. Between scarring and big pores, no matter what you do, we've got pores. Um, it also helps with fine lines and blurring those types of things. So, and it smells freaking incredible. So this is another one we'll be using today just to show you guys how it performs and all that jazz but between me and my clients everybody loves it so we'll be using this today then we got sent one bronzer and one highlight i have not tried these i'm so excited to try these the hula benefit bronzer is what they sent these come with a little brush So brushy brush. No smell. I don't think. Wait. No, no smell. So I'm so excited to try these. And then um, the highlight we got is Cookie. Of course, these come with a brush too. A little bit different shape. With these ones. Oh, this one gets a booklet though. I'm not really worried about that. Okay. 
Oh my. Dang, girl. Can you? Can you see that? Oof. It's a bad girl. It's a bad mamma jamma. Oh, she pretty. I'm going to use a different highlight today and layer her, but I want to see how she performs by herself today when I use her. So these two will be used today. Um, and then we've got, when we did a color match, I went for a 4.5. I generally go with a dark brown, even though my hair is black. And this is my lovely natural hair color, which I absolutely hate. Um, but we went with a 4.5, which is generally a dark brown. Um, but we've got the entire 4.5 shade and every brow product they have so let's go over each of these we have the precisely my brow pencil and this is what it looks like I should just take it out of the package I haven't opened anything yet um, but this is a super fine tip brow pencil you can um, draw brow hairs um, that's what you're doing with these so if you're into drawing those super fine lines almost like um, microblading this is your guy. There you go. Let's see how fine and small it is. It's got no shape to it. It's really blunt. Um, but to me, I'm not worried about shape. I can create those things. And I love how they package these. Like, there you go. Benefit originally sent me products to test out because they added new colors. They, they sent me a 2.75, which is like a reddish brown color. Not even near matching, not even near. So, but this is one we can use today. This is a brow product that I can use for my lack of brow hairs. Um, this is Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This one is a little bit thicker. This is more of a triangle, triangular shaped one. Again, in a 4.5. is just dope. Dope. I love their styles and everything and how they do it. The, those are brow hairs. These are more of a filler, give you a good shape, however you want to use it. But super simple. We'll see how these work with my brows. Another one that I can use. Um, now this is a 24 hour brow setter. Unfortunately, I cannot use this one. I don't have hairs. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. Kind of spacey vibes. Um, but this is the shade. And you just put it on your brow hairs to kind of set it. So nothing's staying. You're going to keep everything in place and whatnot. You see how thin it is though, which is so crazy. And the gel is like a, when you pull it out, it's almost like that color, but on a clear. It's not like a heavy dose of that color where it looks like it's gonna get cakey and weird um which i like it's not solid it's like a clear clear brown tinted to it that shade clear tint like a glaze i don't know how to i don't know how to word it <laughs> so weird and then this last one is gimme brow plus this is for volumizing so if you have a thin brow hairs if you don't have a lot of brow hairs, you have a few, Ooh, they're sparse. Um, these will help thicken them so it looks like you have more. So this is the packaging, so cute. This little spoolie. Well, you see it? Little spoolie. And these are more of a solid colors because you want this to look even then, is it really? Yeah, it's solid. Um, you want it to look like brow hairs or your hairs are a little bit thicker than what they are. So generally people with fine hair are gonna have fine brows. I have fine hair, so my brow hairs aren't thick, they are coarse. So think about that. You have fine hair here, you're gonna have fine hair in your brows. So you might wanna pick up some of this just to make them a little bit thicker if you're going for a different style brow than you normally do. Um, this is just something nice to have on hand. But this is also something I cannot use right now. 
once I start growing my brows out, some of these products are gonna be super great for me to use as I'm growing them out. So I'm gonna go, the awkward stage isn't so hard. So say you've shaven them or you've reshaped them and you go, Psh, I'm over this shape, I want another shape. The brow setter is gonna help tame them as you're growing them out. And this one, the gimme brow is gonna help give you some of that fullness. So that awkward stage isn't as awkward, they're gonna look more normal. You might be able to give them a little bit more length to get them more of where you want to as you're going. Keep all these things in mind when you're doing things. I would always go for shaping and filling your brows in. Then I will go for the thickness on it with the gimme brow. And then I will go with setting them. So it's up to you on what products you want to use as you're going. But I would definitely go with either the Precisely My Brow or the Goof Proof Brow Pencil first. If you don't use both, one or the other. And then I will go with the Gimme Brow for fullness. And then I will go with the 24 Hour Brow Setter as your last step to just seal everything, set it, and forget it. Make sense? Makes sense. All right, anyways, let's jump in, get these brows done. We'll give you a full look. I'm not gonna show you the whole process of the full look. The whole point of today's video is we're gonna do some brows with all this stuff. And then I'm gonna show you what everything looks together as it's done. That's the point. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's zoom in. All right, so I think we're gonna start with precisely my brow. Again, this is a 4.5 which is generally for me a dark brown i have not swatched these yet let's do a little swatch a roof for y'all see how thin that is oof oof this might be a little bit more brown than i anticipated girl all right so what i like to do is i just start with where Swoop it up. Look it out. I'm more of an arch girl. I love arches. Now our tail may not stay that far out, but we just scope it all out. And then I'll start with the top, but I don't come as far in as I generally would. I like to start a little farther back. And don't worry if we make any boo-boos. That's okay. That's what we got concealer for. Going to connect as I taper in. There we go. And this is really big for what I generally do. Now we're going to go in with Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5. And now I'm just going to fill it in. brow pencil just to blend it a little bit. There we go. Now it's a little bit harsh in here for me. I feel like it's a little low and this tail is super long for what I like. So now what we're just going to do is we're going to go in with a concealer and a concealer brush and we're just going to clean it up a little. are done I went in and used the violet Voss fruit 
sorbet palette i got this in my ipsy ultimate glam bag this month just so you know but we're going to go in and put on primer at this point let's pull this bad boy out this is a, a smoothing face primer to minimize the look of pores this is the tube she comes in it is a um, 22 milliliter container. This is a full size product. You can get this in travel size for 13 bucks. I believe full size is 32 bucks. Well, well worth it though. A little goes a long way. Always start with the middle of your face and just smooth it out as you go. Because we've already done brows, we gotta be careful around there. this stuff smells amazing they also have this in a pearl if you want to have that like inner glow that like highlight underneath it's also a pore minimizing one but I love it if you need a little bit of a glowiness underneath without too much um, some of those are like really glowy um the one from benefit is not so same size um, they come in a full size and a travel size, same price point and everything like that. So just keep that in mind. These are great. They're really not like too big at all, but a little bit goes a long way, which I really like. Um, I do want to show you guys how these, how the foundation goes on and all that jazz. The point of this video is more around benefits, so I'm not going to give you too many details um, about what brands I'm using and whatnot. Um, I'll have it all listed below. But I want to make sure this is mostly about benefit products. I found for my foundation routine, I'm very much attached to a brush. And I like to do more of a wet brush. Like I like to spritz it with a little bit of Mario Badescu spray or just a little bit of water. Um, but I always keep a spray bottle handy. Maybe an empty one you get from Walmart. Or if you have an empty one, like I've got plenty of my Mario Badescu ones that have emptied. As you can see, this one is absolutely trashed from Halloween season. Um, I just refill them with water and I clean them up every week. Make sure it's clean water in there so nothing getting stale and weird. Um, when I go through to do any foundation application, smear, um, same with a sponge. You just pat around. That's why I put foundation in little areas. Oh, you're not moving it all over your face. And I feel like if I put up my brush, it kind of all sits in there. It doesn't go where it needs to. And all that jazz. And I can always add more if I need to. this on and then pull you guys in close so you can see how it looks that when you're getting going and stuff like that I do it all the time I don't have any guidelines to do mine it'd be helpful if I did but that's life you know now some of these smaller areas for me I go in with a much smaller brush and just pat and blend it 
from where I want it. Like around my brows gets really funky. I don't like the light lines necessarily around my brows. The smaller brushes to help blend it and get closer. Same with under your eyes. We always use a different brush under our eyes. So we're doing spot concealing, color correcting. It should be literally the same concept. If you catch my flow. I know I'm weird. really quick just so we can show you guys and start bronzing it up real quick i set with two different powders i set with one under my eyes and on all my important spaces and then i set one all over the face and i set with like two different brush brushes or applicators i don't know how you want to do it under my eyes always seems to do best to not be Cakey. If I do a bowl of the Real Technique sponge, I've got some lines and some peggies. Again, just a pat in motion. We don't want it to move any of our product. You can't use the setting, the brow, what is it called? 24 hour brow setter like I can't because I don't have brow hairs um setting powder works just as well and you can just spray with all night setting powder setting spray from Urban Decay or regular setting spray um to help set everything on your face as you normally would but I always go over my brows if I have a pomade of any sort um with a setting powder to help set it so it doesn't move and all that jazz move on we're going in with the hula bronzer uh, does it, I'm, I'm assuming it, it doesn't have a name or hula is the name of this one so I'm gonna use the brush they gave me just cuz I want to try it out see how it works so I'm going in with the brush into the hula bronzer I'm gonna do I'm doing it. I use 
use more cooler tones that's probably my issue That highlighter for the benefit. Again, we're gonna try the brush. I have a feeling we should not be using this brush, but we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it. Mm. We should smell like cookies. Something. Oh, you see that? favorite brush but we made it we made it work go us oh my god too much too much here we go dull it down <laughs> but it melts in like butter it doesn't feel like it's like sitting on top of my skin if you catch my drift if you catch if you catch the drift it feels like it's blended really well some stuff feels really powdery. Oh, oh. Some stuff feels really powdery and really on top of your skin. Um, but Cookie does not, for the Benefit highlighters, doesn't feel like it's on top of your skin. It feels like it's really blended and natural. And if you want to do um, an extra oomph, get their their high beam. I think it is. They're liquid. Hold on. Yes. I got this in my Ipsy Ultimate bag as well. Um, and I've played with it a few times. Um, this stuff is amazing. This is High Beam. What color is this one? Satin Pink. Um, blends like a dream. Um, but it really gives your highlights an extra oomph. And whatnot so another one from benefit is that i love it's really really good just to throw that out there um but cookie gets a few other spots oh cookie needs a few other this is a really good champagne color an everyday color good for brides color like okay girl and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm struggling over here. Today. Just one of those days. There we go. So much better. Oh. Yeah, see what happens. Got a little high 
really heavy. All right. Now we're gonna use Bad Girl Bang. Bang. No gang gang. My kids will kill me. I'm gonna use this mascara today. So here's the final look using all the Benefit and Ipsy products that they sent me. The, we use the Precisely My Brow Pencil. We use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. We use the Professional Pore Primer. We use one of their Hula Bronzers. We use the Cookie Highlighter. Um, and we use the Bad Gal... What is it called? Bad Gal... <laughs> gal banger mascara today all those products will be listed down below in the comment and the in the down below for you with all the details in the description box if you guys want to look up any of those products they're all freaking phenomenal some of these products i've used before and absolutely love some of these are new ones that i've tried out and absolutely love anyways benefits always been a great brand that always flawlessly performs for you. Not only is it great for you, it's great for your clients. It's great as a gift. The holidays are coming. They always have amazing, amazing gift sets. Make sure you're checking Ulta. Make sure you're checking Benefit for anything that they have for you guys. Um, anywhere, really. They're, uh, I don't know if Sephora carries them, but definitely make sure you check them out. They're amazing. Um, as you can see, this look is just flawless. My skin looks freaking amazing. It's nothing over the top. The eyes are a little over the top today, but that's really it. Um, everything else is pretty basic, pretty every day. Um, and it looks freaking flawless. Thanks for benefit. Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out from with me today, guys, and seeing how I do my brows with benefit. It was amazing. Thanks so much for hanging. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!